Hello and welcome back to the Boozle Box and this redstone tutorial. This is the second part of the item combination lock tutorial and today we're going to have a look at building this uh, this version of it. Uh, basically this version is the combination lock which is timed so if you don't put the correct items in at the same time it won't open the secret passageway in your house or wherever you've got it. it might be a drawbridge, something, who knows. So we're going to go ahead and go back over to the system we made last time, which was the cake dispensing system. And we're going to tweak a couple things, uh, which is going to turn this system into the timed combination lock system. Uh, so if you don't have this already built, click on the link on the screen now. That one, right there. Click it, if you haven't built this, uh, and then come back and then build what we're going to build now. Um, so we're going to get straight on it. We're going to remove this because we can have it, but it looks weird. Um, so we're going to remove these middle bits, which is basically what makes it the other version of the combination lock. Uh, we'll leave these filters in there for now because um, that can just be our new secret combination lock, uh, the recipe for a pumpkin pie. No one will ever guess it. It is totally secure. Uh, so right, the difference is in this one, we need a straight set of redstone up here. Underneath you want to come out a block like so for each of these. And then you want to proceed to come out again like so. So you get this this kind of pokey outy shapey here. Okay, and here we want to put a blob of redstone and this comparator is going to send a signal to this blob of redstone uh, and then these blobs of redstone are going to send a signal to these repeaters. Uh, the reason you need the repeater here, which is why it's is slightly longer, is because the comparator is only going to send a signal of one. So you need a repeater to repeat that signal and make it strong again. Um, so from here, what we want to do is we want to put torches, a torch here, not torches, a torch, a singular torch, uh, because we only need one timing system for this. You don't need to put a second timing system here. That would just be pointless and a waste of time. Now, this timing system, we want a block here and a block here and a piece of redstone on this. Uh, now, this redstone torch is going to send a signal to this redstone blob, which is going to send a signal to this redstone torch and turn it off. So, at the moment, when nothing's working, this torch is going to be off, which is what we want. So, it's enough on and off. I'm going to stop talking. Um, next block wants to go here. So, space, block, and then you want to come out four blocks with this one. And then you want to go up one block, and then up two blocks, like that. Cover this one in repeaters, and put the repeaters to full, because this is how we're timing it. Uh, bit of redstone, another bit of redstone. This is where the slabs come in. You want a slab here with a piece of redstone, and this is going to send the signal up and then back across, because obviously that's how slabs are working. Thank God you can now put redstone on slabs, which is a brilliant addition. Thank you very much, Notch. So from here, we want to go another two blocks with another two repeaters on it. And again, that is just timing to uh, slow down the signal to allow all three of the items to get to their respective slots and a block and a torch on it. And what that's going to do is that's going to stop these hoppers from putting the stuff into the chests below. Uh, now we also need this hopper to stop putting its stuff into the chest below, so we need to repeat the very end bit of this on the other side. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and do this in the least amount of, uh, of redstone needed, uh, which should just be like this. And then we'll put the redstone along like that. And then we'll come with another slab, put that there, redstone blob on top two blocks, up one block, torch, Ooh, I'm stuck on something, what am I stuck on, there we go, oh it disappeared, there, there we go, two, uh, two repeaters on full, so now that should be it, if you want to add any more to your item combination lock, you just add this strip and then you add this other piece here, so that is, that is actually it, uh, the only other thing we need to add is to this chest at the top here. In the house where I did the demonstration in the first part, uh, there was a lamp next to it. Under that lamp was an iron block there, 
and a redstone blob on top with a lever on top there. And basically what this does is when you turn this lever on, it sends a signal to this hopper which tells it to not take anything out of this chest. So if I did that, that would then disappear. Now it'll end up at the end here, like so. Okay, so now that is actually it. Uh, we'll give it one test, uh, and to prove that it does work, what we'll do is we'll get a iron block here. We'll run that along this way a little bit. Put two pieces of redstone. We'll get a piston. We'll get one of these pistons. Actually, what we need to do is uh, flip the signal of this. So if we put a torch here, that'll invert the signal coming off. Actually, we could put that there. There we go. Uh, then we'll put a piston, and then we'll put a block. Now, if that block moves when we put the correct items in, it means we've done it right. Now, the correct items are the recipe for a pumpkin pie. So egg. Oh, we're flashing. Yum, 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 yum. Uh, egg, sugar, and pumpkin. Pumpkin. Like that. Come on. Come on. Oh, I've taken a screenshot. Woohoo! Uh, sugar, and a pumpkin. And flip this. Do -do 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 -do. Bam! I had a dreaded feeling it wasn't going to work for a second there, but it did! And, and that is how you do it. Uh, you can add as many as you, well, not as many as you like, because there are only so many items in the game. And obviously redstone signals only travel so far, so you have to take that into account uh, when thinking about where the timer is, because you can only have 15 going out this way. I'm sure you'll be able to figure it out. That is the item combination lock. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you have got any questions, do put them in the comments. I will answer them. Thank you for watching. And I hope to see you for the next Redstone tutorial, whatever it will be. If you do have any suggestions, again, leave it in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye!